Marbury v. Madison, the case that created judicial review. It was President John Adams' last few days in office. John Adams, a Federalist, was sad because he had lost the presidential race to this guy, Thomas Jefferson, an anti-Federalist. Madison was trying to think of a way to keep the Federalist in power when he suddenly got the idea to appoint a bunch of Federalist Party members as judges the night before he left office. He even got approval from Congress. When Jefferson took office the next day, he was not happy. President Jefferson told his Secretary of State, James Madison, to not send the new judge letters officially giving them the job. One of the Federalists waiting for their letter to be appointed judge was William Marbury, a Federalist. When his letter never came, he went to the Supreme Court. Marbury asked the Supreme Court to issue an order that the Secretary Madison had to do his job. You can issue a writ of mandamus. The court said that the Judiciary Act of 1789 that gave the court right to issue this writ was in fact unconstitutional. They said telling politicians they have to do their job was not among the duties given to the court in the Constitution. With this ruling, the court did two things. They avoided interfering with the new president, so Jefferson is happy. And for the first time, they ruled the legislative action as unconstitutional which set a precedent. The power is also known as judicial review.